Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Badline. To Badline, showing you some of my Badline settings as well as how to install Badline. So let's get started. So first things first, go down in the link in the description. It'll be the top link and you're going to go to the Badline.net website. So now that we're here on the website, you're going to see a Mac, you're going to see Linux, and you're going to see Windows. You're just going to go ahead and click the Windows one. And then you're going to click on recommended download when that comes up. All you're going to do is just wait until this downloads. This usually takes like 20, 30 seconds, depending on your internet. Okay, I've already done this, but basically you're going to open it up and then you're going to go through with the installation. Basically what's going to happen is you're going to get a launcher like this. It'll probably put it on your desktop. Uh, you're going to create a Badline account and then basically just link it to your Minecraft account. It's super easy, super self-explanatory. But once you've done that, you're going to want to click on BLC 3. Uh, and then Optifine. So if these two aren't selected, you need to make sure those are selected. And we're going to be going through 1.8.9 installation today. Uh, if you want to allocate more RAM to your Minecraft, you can do that as well. Uh, I have 10 gigabytes allocated, which you really just don't need to do. All right, so once that's done, you're going to go ahead and click launch, and you're going to launch. Make sure you're signed in with your Minecraft account. You might have to add an account. So that's that's what you have to do. You have to create a Badline account, log in, and then you just add an account, and then you add your account, and then you launch, and you're all good to go. All right, all right, so now we're in Badline. Um, you're going to come up with this, like, pop-up thing. That's just kind of, like, the news of what's going on with Badline. Um, you're just going to exit that out, and you're all set, pretty much. Uh, you're going to go into single-player world. Uh, I, I find it easier to configure stuff because you won't get, like, AFK kicked if you're on Hypixel. Um, also, this is my 30K pack. If you guys want this, this will be out at 30K on Twitch. Link in the description. Um, and this is my Badline cape as well. Um, which will also be in the description. All right, so yeah, we're going to continue today. Um, so the first thing that I would do uh, is go to your settings um, and graphics, and this is usually what I'd start with. Um, so go ahead and just copy my settings. I don't really need to go over this. I'm just going to kind of scroll through and just copy exactly what I have here. Um, this is what I like. Um, and yeah, ping numbers, you can turn this off. Uh, you don't need that but other than that everything else here is a pretty pretty good place to start you can always adjust things later on uh, as you know what they mean but i'm just going to give you my my settings that are really good um that i've just been kind of messing with for the past you know month or so uh yeah i just like i like the way all this looks it makes your game look pretty nice um and then in better frames this one's kind of important um these these have been the settings that i found to be kind of the most effective but your mileage may vary because you know everyone's computer is different so don't think that you know you're gonna get the same fps as me just because you know you, you enable the same settings it's not really how computers work i have a very high-end computer so um fps boost world optimization and chat fps boost these three seem to help a lot with frames um especially for lower end computers um smooth lighting seems to seems to help uh turning this on i'm not actually really sure what it does but i've noticed a, a decent jump in, in performance like a tiny jump in performance so nothing crazy there um if we go through here i like to disable these because they really don't do anything and you know you don't even notice they're not there you know what i mean also this thing is kind of annoying uh lava particles that like drift from the ceiling those are kind of annoying so i like to just disable those um especially if you're playing you know like hypixel or something it'll give you some extra frames and lobbies um friends i like to turn all this off um i don't really like the whole friends thing um on bad line i don't really like friends on any client to be honest but hey that's just me you can leave that on if you really want i don't like bad line chat personally um and it's disabled right now i'll be back in 3.4 which is releasing pretty soon so i might have to make an updated video on this um so if we go to menus make sure this is on center menu it looks so much better um and yeah I like to just have these settings. They look pretty nice. For cosmetics, um, I don't know why sprays are is off, but you can t disable these if you want. Um, Badline is very customizable. I don't know if you guys haven't already noticed, but Badline is a very customizable client. So much you can do in this. So many things you can disable or enable. Um, and it looks very complex when you first get into it, which is fair, but you know it really isn't. Um, you just have to play with the client a little bit just to kind of understand it. Um, so I like to disable this and, and put this lower. This is like shields and, and things like that um, from what I understand uh, So yeah, I like to just, just turn that all the way down wing scale 1.2 uh, looks the best IMO um, And then for cloak type I like to leave it on dynamic curve But you can you can actually adjust that on each individual cape that you have um, and then the cloak shoulders That's preference. I don't really like it personally, but you can leave it on if you want um, and then mask glasses and banana bandana location, you can adjust that individually as well. Um, and I'll show you guys that later. So if we go to mods, 
we start with the mods uh, that I like. So time changer, um, this one's pretty cool. I like to leave this on freeze time and always night, um, but you can change this to always day. Um, sunset and it is not really that cool looking IMO in most texture packs, um, but you can add a custom sunset and freeze it on that if you really want. Uh, crosshair type, I like X. X is probably the best. X, circle, dot, arrow, and, and cross are probably your best bet there. Um, and then these are my settings, which I'll quickly just kind of scroll through. You can kind of put this on, you can just pause and look at the settings if you really want. Um, cause I, I don't really feel like going through all these, but the ones I'd stay away from are dynamic bow animation that will screw your aim up with bows 100%. Same with dynamic attack animation. All right. So next, uh, setting is going to be color saturation. Now this one's up to you. I really like color saturation. I will show you, uh, the difference actually what color saturation does. Um, so this is normal Minecraft. This is, it, you know, it kind of looks pretty dull. Um, with my texture pack, it's very vibrant. Um, this one's releasing again at 30K. Um, but if you put it at 1.6, which is what I like, look how much more vibrant. It's, it's very nice looking. I mean, it's, it's very noticeable. Um, so anyway, moving on from here. Um, this is the saturation I like. This depends on the pack, though, how saturated it already is. Like, my pack is already pretty saturated. Um, but that just, it basically just boosts the colors and it just makes the pack look a lot better. Um, Enchantment Glint is a really cool mod. So this one, basically, uh, what it allows you to do is add a custom color or a custom Enchantment Glint to every single item. So for example, um, you know, if I take an enchantment table and I enchant this sword, um, you can see how it is blue. I have a blue, uh, ingredient on it. And if I enchant this wood sword, you can see how it is orange. Or if I enchant the stone sword, it is purple. Um, you can do that with every single item. And, and what you do basically to do this uh, is essentially, so say I take an iron chest plate and I put it in here and I enchant it. You can see my default color, I have it set to gray. Um, but if I add a custom enchantment glint and I scroll down to the bottom, now I can make this whatever color I want. I can make this red, blue, purple. Um, and I suggest kind of going down a little bit here because um, it just looks a lot better if you do that. Um, but yeah, very cool mod. Um, something that Lunar does not have yet, um, and I don't think they will have. Um, but very cool, makes your game look very nice, uh, very aesthetic. So going down, uh, we have pack display. This one I like to leave on last pack, so it displays the bottom pack. Um, and yeah, these are my settings for this if you want to copy these. Um, all right, then we have, uh, enchantment glint, which we already looked at animations. So sneaking, I like to disable that. Everything else is good. Uh, I think everything else looks nice. Um, and then we have armor status. I have this, uh, these are my settings for armor status. And again, I, I've kind of went through and kind of looked at like all the settings and I think mine are kind of ideal, um, for like minimalistic looking auto GG, just leave that on normal. Uh, auto tip, I like to leave this on hidden, so that way it doesn't show that you're tipping people. Block overlay, I have it at 10, uh, fill and outline, um, you can adjust those if you want, but basically it just, it barely makes the block any darker. Um, it's a little easier to see with, you know, like this or something, um, but, but you can really customize this, like you could even put it on like rainbow if you really wanted, make the center of the block rainbow, and like, like that, you know, like you, you could do a lot with this. Um, bad line, what a lot of people don't realize is, is bad line, you know, if you don't know how to customize it, I, I do agree to a certain extent that it does look pretty ugly. Um, if you don't know how to customize it, but if you really know what you're doing and you like to get dirty and, and really have like a customizable client, then, then I feel like bad line is kind of on top, um, as far as that goes, because there's a lot more customization. Um, and if you're not really looking for those settings, you know, there's other clients out there. Um, but you know, I myself really am looking for the settings. I really like them. Um, chat, I have mine on, on opaque, so you can make your chat completely opaque just like that. So there's no black, you know, bars behind it. Um, you can also, you know, you can make this any color you want. If you really want to make your, your chat, um, like red, for example, I don't, I don't know why you'd ever want to do that, but if you're going for a look like that, sure. Um, you know, you can really just do a lot. Uh, CPS, I like to leave this on uh, pretty much default settings, so these are mine. Um, and then I have a customizable text. Um, 
and and basically what that does is is it just makes it the cps but you do have to have insider for this um so yeah if you don't have insider it'll just say cps and and you know it'll look you know not as cool but um all right we have um clear glass i don't really use that that's pack dependent most of the time um, but bad line can like override that but most packs have clear glass so you don't really need to worry about that one fov changer i like to leave this on static um so that way whenever you're sprinting whenever potions um run out like you don't have that weird you know effect um so it's a lot easier to pvp with that i i recommend using fov changer fulbright um makes your game look so much nicer like please use fulbright um hit color i use white you can use whatever color you want um and yeah you basically what hit color does if you if you didn't know most people know this but um let's just say we just grab like a creeper or something um see how he turns white there you go um all right now we have hit boxes which i like to leave on only for players um i could show an example of this yeah uh, but i don't i don't really feel like it uh but basically it only outlines players uh which is super nice super nice um then we have inventory blur this one's optional um this one's not gonna like make or break your gameplay but you know you can use it if you want i think it looks pretty cool uh item physics i like to leave this at one level head uh total kills is probably your best bet for hypixel because it's a pretty accurate way of judging someone's skill if they have fifty thousand kills they're probably gonna be a pretty good player if they have 200 they're probably not gonna be a very good player but um then we have motion blur i like to leave this at 50 percent with old blur or a uh, 0.50 and then perspective obviously this isn't allowed on hypixel anymore so this won't even be an option on hypixel um rip potion status i delete this on vanilla basic settings you can really go in and adjust these if you really want to but i didn't really feel like it as it's not that important i don't even really look at it too often uh reach display this one is important i like to know how much reach i'm getting on a, a player or you know anything for that matter um and then we have scoreboard I like to get rid of these so remove numbers width so that's the numbers on the side that's an option to remove uh and then you can also change color settings and background by by default um i think it's actually opaque um then we have tnt timer i do that on white um and then we have toggle sprint which is a very useful mod you should be using toggle sprint if you're not uh and then we have zoom this is getting updated and overhauled in 3.4 which is coming out pretty soon um, and basically all that's going to do is just have like smooth zoom um, and a few other things weather changer um, this is a lifesaver if you play um, survival or anything like that and you just hate rain <laughs> or you can even force snow and change the particles in your pack and, and snow and that sort of thing and that's pretty cool um, so anyway there is that uh, if i type in particles here um, this one is is kind of like my favorite so particle multiplier i leave that at one uh, turn all of these on and the reason you want to do that right is if you have custom particles like my pack has uh, which is coming out for 30k um you can see there's no ugly color overlay but but what happens is if you, i turn this off you can see exactly it adds this weird like tinge over the top of it that minecraft basically adds and badline removed that which is really cool and it makes your particles look awesome um some people don't like them but i think they look awesome um lastly I think my favorite part about Badline um, is is the cosmetics and the potential for cosmetics, as well as Insider. Um, so Insider is a monthly thing, um, or if you're a partner, you get it for free. Um, but basically, you can just have like skins, uh, like saved. So for example, if I want to be Naniko, you can upload a skin there and, and and do that, and that's that's pretty cool. Yeah, I think I think that's about it. Um, there's also this name thing that you get and this cool uh, name tag border So you can actually see it right now. It's going. It's like flowing around my name um, And yeah, I don't know. There's some really cool things about Badline that I, I've been really enjoying a few important things are toggle sprint So if you want to do that you just go to your minecraft settings go to controls and then you bind uh, your sprint and you bind your toggle sprint key you bind them to the same thing and that's that's what i did and it, and it works the best um so i typically set that on the right side of my keyboard just because it's way better because you don't accidentally hit it and then stop sprinting um 
All right, and with all these things put together, you should get something that kind of looks like this. Um, another thing that's really cool is, is smooth lighting level. Um, it totally makes your game look better, like in in so many ways. Um, I'll just quickly run through my settings. You guys can pause on, on anything um, in that way. If you guys really want my settings that bad, there you go. Um, but yeah, this guy's insane, bro. Thank you for being a test dummy. I, I really appreciate that. But, you know, you saw prime example there what the particles look like. Um, but yeah, one thing I forgot to mention was GUI editing. So yeah, this is GUI editing. You can scale everything down, move everything around, put everything where you want it. Um, if this is here, just scale this down. You don't have to worry about it. It's just something that Badline has. I'm not sure really why, but anyway. Uh, other than that, there's really nothing else that I feel like I need to tell you guys about other than my Twitch. I stream every day um, and we are at 28.1k right now. So we are really close to YouTube rank. So yeah, please follow me. Also, I have a cape, so that's pretty cool.